They're the third group in your top 32. Barbara, Devika, Rex, Amber, Barrett, Diego, Michelle, and Giselle. They sing the notes, you cast the votes right here on Canadian Idol. Four hopefuls into the Canadian Idol stratosphere. Tonight, Group 3 lays it all on the line, and when the battle's over, two more will join Daryl Brunt, Ashley Lateo, Casey LeBlanc, and Emily Vanette in your top ten. Now, as each competitor performs, you'll see a phone number on your screen to call toll-free at the end of the show. Phone lines won't be available until after the last performance, and they'll stay open for two hours, so you'll have plenty of time to cast your vote and make it count. We'll repeat the numbers at the very end of the broadcast, so for now, let us entertain you. Tomorrow night, we'll have all the results live at 8 p.m. in most time zones right here on CTV. The performers you'll see tonight were selected from thousands who auditioned. Who selected them? Well, I'll tell you who. Say hello to your judges, Jake Gold. <laughs> Barley Flex. <laughs> Sass Jordan. And Zach Werner. <laughs> all right, Zach. Week one, you guys were very nice. Last week, not so nice. Um, what's the mood here today? Uh, I think there's um, a little friskiness in the air. Ben, what about you? I think there's kind of a capering nihilism floating around. <laughs> I gotta write that one down. Yeah. Hey, Sass, um, what do you think of the top 10 so far? Or more importantly, what do you think is missing from the top 10? Well, Ben, I think uh, we're a little light on the testosterone in the top 10 so far. I think that we could use a couple guys, perhaps. That's just for you, Sass. Now, Farley, last week the judges were unanimous in their predictions. You guys were half right, but that also means you were half wrong. So what happened there? Well, the big variable on this show is song choice in a lot of cases, and I think that's, what, that's probably what Josh's issue was. Um, having said that, we judge these kids on what we expect from them as well. So, you know, we're still doing okay. Jake, based on last week and the week before, what can group three, what lesson can they pull from those two weeks for their performances tonight? Well, probably not listen to our predictions, um, but uh, I think they should realize that, you know, you got your one shot, come on out here, don't be nervous because it's only going to get more difficult and just give it all you got, which is what we expect from them. Well, thank you very much, judges. Now it's time to say hello to our pianist, Mark Lalama. Mark, are you ready to rock? Ready, Ben. All right, well, let's say hello to group three, please. Give it up for Barbara. Michelle, Rex, Amber, Giselle, and Diego. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Hey Barbara, you've got a, a connection with jazz that, that is deeper than most and it stems from your connection to Ella Fitzgerald. What's that connection all about? Well, see, when Ella sings, she kind of speaks to me because of the way she expresses her story from beginning to end. Giselle, yes. you're a makeup artist, right? I am. Uh, what's your specialty? Um, I like doing a lot of the glamour stuff, a lot yeah. of colorful, creative stuff, and special effects is a lot of fun. H how am I looking? You're looking great. Uh -huh, thanks. Well, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we get to you, it's time to get to our first performance of the evening. Are you ready to take it, uh, take it to the idol stage, Barbara? All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Barbara Priestman. Hi, my name is Barbara Priestman. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Thornhill, Ontario. The boot camp was tough, I can't lie. But afterwards, the ego boost was nice, and I've been replenished. 
Bird is so funny. <laughs> she doesn't say much about what she thinks. I don't think she's there so much to critique as to teach. My family's always been supportive, but at the same time, they think maybe Canadians won't get your jazz, maybe they won't get your personality. I like my thing, and I think people can like it too if they give it a chance. <laughs> The only thing I plenty of, my baby. Dream a while, scheme a while, you're sure to find happiness. And I guess all those things you've always pined for, G. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well, my baby, I can't give you anything but love. Do a ba do do, ba ba do ba ba do 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 do. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Baby, I can't give you anything but I can't give you anything but I can't give you anything but love, love, love. No, I can't give you anything but love. You know, you're just so damn cute. You know, and you know, you do your thing and you did that really well and it was really great how you threw the scat in and I just hope people realize how special you are. Thank you. Yeah, you're definitely a real pleasure to watch and to listen to. And the important thing on this, we all know it's the pop music thing and all that, but you, to come out and represent yourself the way you have been and the way you continue to is a really, really wonderful thing for me. I enjoy it big time. <laughs> First of all, let me say it's a vast improvement over everything last week, and I think you're like a breath of, breath of fresh air, a fresh of breath air. That was interesting. <laughs> anyway, I, I loved it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's really cute. Um, I don't, it's a fresh of breath you've air. You've silenced Zach. Yeah. Just go to her back. <laughs> Here. Okay, just one thing about Zach. Zach doesn't do cute, okay? So he doesn't understand cute. He's allergic to cute. But the good thing is, is that you are going to be introducing a whole new generation of jazz. And, you know, we're very lucky to have you on this show. So thank you. Thank you. And if you think Barbara belongs in the top 10, let her know it after the show by calling 1 9 Idle 01 toll free. That's 1 943 6501. Just remember not to call until the very end of the show. We're just getting into the groove. We've got seven more with something to prove when Canadian Idol returns. <laughs> Welcome back to Canadian Idol on CTV. Now, does anyone here want to hear some more singing? I think we can take care of you. Giselle, you ready to face your fans? Ladies and gentlemen, Giselle Correa. Hi, my name is Giselle Correa. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Mississauga. Top 100 was really exciting. It was a little shocking. And I met a lot of really cool people and there's, you know, some of them are still in the top 32. Some of them are here with me this week and it's been a lot of fun. That was phenomenally horrible. <laughs> I love that stuff, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bird's very nice. She's really cool. She's really down to earth. Working with her is, is an honor. That's perfect. I want to be the Canadian Idol because I want to sing. I love singing. Got brains in pocket. Got bottom. I'm gonna use it. Intention. Feeling ventil. Gonna make you, make you, make you notice. Gonna use my arms. Gonna use my legs. Gonna use my style. Gonna use.
use my sidestep, gonna use my fingers, gonna use my, my, my imagination, whoa, cause I'm gonna make you see, there's nobody else here, no one like me. You're definitely one of our more powerful singers. I, I, there was something groove, there were some groove issues happening there. I'm not sure what they were. Um, I like your voice, but that just didn't win me over. Okay. Yeah, Giselle, I found it pretty uninspired. I, I think that you're, with the voice that you have, you could, you could attempt something a lot more dynamic, I think. Okay. Yeah. I think last week we see like the voters sort of want to vote for who's uh, the best qualified to win the uh, Lawrence Welk show. So you may actually do really well this week. But, you know, I really think you got to get up there and on this thing and give it. Like, if you want to rock, you got lots of pipes. You had to get up there and really kick out of it. You know what I mean? Yep. It just seemed that you did this, a slower version of the song and therefore you didn't really get into the pocket of Brass in Pocket. And you look amazing. Thank you very so it's much. not only makeup, you got the style going on too. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to keep Giselle in your top 10 pocket, you got to vote for her. Just call 1 8669 Idol 02 after the show. That's 1 8669 4365 Thank you, Giselle. Thank you. No, 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 Stick around. The plot thickens with Diego and Davica when Canadian Idol returns. Welcome back to The Pressure Cooker, a.k.a. Canadian Idol. Devika, you teach a Bollywood music course at York University here in Toronto. Um, what's your connection to Bollywood? Well, I've, uh, since I'm from India, Bombay, where it all happens, I, it's in my blood. I've grown up with it, and uh, it's a pleasure teaching it and telling people about it here. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and Diego, uh, you actually won a musical competition in your native Colombia. That's Tell right. us a little bit about that. It was, uh, it was called the uh, Festival of uh, Bolero, and uh, it was broadcasted in a big theater, 5,000 people. It was broadcast live throughout the whole country. Wow, well, you ready to show us your moves? Absolutely. All right, give it up for Diego Alvarez. My name is Diego Alvarez. I'm 21 years old, and I live in Montreal, Quebec. Top 100 was very nerve-wracking. The first stage, that was something else. <laughs> I was so nervous and so excited, and there's a mixture of so many things. I used to live in Colombia, and my family's still there. Canada's my new home. I'd love to represent non-Canadians and Canadians, and it's good to, you know, to show that the Canadian dream really do exist. Now I think it's time that you let me know, oh, babe. So if you love me, just say you love me. But if you don't, just let me go. And teacher, you know there are things that I don't want. So I don't want to learn Hold you and touch you Think that you're mine Because there ain't no joy For an uptown boy Whose teacher has 
just told him goodbye I'm so cold inside But maybe I gave it just one more try Wow, wow, wow well, Diego, you know, it was kind of a 50-50 there. There were some glaring inconsistencies, but at the same time, there's these notes that you hit that are just beautiful. I don't know what to say there. Stump the judge. I know what to say. Um, you know, I, it is my fervent belief that there are some really good singers in the top 32, and it is my fervent belief that you are not amongst them in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. Last week you said you were deaf. I think you still are. Um, <laughs> I agree with you. Maybe. <laughs> you know, there, there were definitely some bad notes, but, you know, it's all about communication. And you communicated that song really well, and you felt it, and that's what it means to me. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah it's, I think in terms of expression and all that, you were definitely there. I wish I could give you one more try. Thank you. Sometimes all it takes is one right note, and that puts you right into the top 10. And if you thought Diego's performance was idol worthy, let him know after the show by calling 1 9 idol 3. That's 1 943 6503. Well, it's time for our next performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Devika Mather. Oh, that's good. Hi, my name is Devika Mathur. I'm 27, and I'm from Toronto. I'm a radio DJ. I just moved to Canada last year. The only two things I know is to talk and to sing. <laughs> Why do I want to be the Canadian Idol? It would just be an opportunity to pursue something that I love. We took away certain sections. Let's lower the key for a second. Canada is an awesome place to do this. It's not just for people growing up here, but also people that come from other countries to Canada. I think it's full of opportunity and scope, and if you have a dream, do it. How you doing? <laughs> First of all, you look ridiculously amazing, which goes a long way in my books as, as with regards to, you have this great presence and a wonderful star power about you, and thank God somebody who sings in a mature, stylish way. I mean, you're missing some power around the edges, but for me, for my money, you know, you're the best that we've got here for sure right now. Got your hearing back, buddy. <laughs> All I, all I can say is, is I think in all the times we've heard you sing, that's the best by far you've ever performed for us. And thank you very much. There's this serenity you bring, you exude it, and it's like really comforting, and you look so professional and wonderful, and your cultural presence, and I could go on and on till the break of dawn about you. Thank you. Very well done. 
it's unanimous across the board. Livica, the number one choice of the judges for the evening. That was fabulous. Thank you so much. anything so so how you doing i think i'm doing very very <laughs> fine <laughs> well if there's no top 10 without davica vote for after the show by calling 1-866-9-IDLE-04 toll free that's 1-866-943-6504 so davica uh, i hear that the l'oreal team took you guys to some hot spots in kensington market Yes, they took us to Kensington Market, and since I'm still a tourist, I enjoyed it, and mm -hmm. they treated us like princesses. We got the pampering of our lifetime. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Sounds like fun. Let's have a peek. All right, lovely ladies, we're going to be using this great new product, Hot Straight and Hot Curl. You think your hair is straight now, just wait. It's going to be amazing. All right, let's go off to the market. Can't wait. Harley's shirt. Can we buy it from? <laughs> That's hot. <high. laughs> <Nice. laughs> Harley. Hey guys, I got an idea. What do we think, ladies? Shall we go curly? That's good. What do you guys think? Oh, looking <laughs> hot. Speaking of hot. Some see the show as half over, we see it as half started. Michelle and Rex keep the musical ball rolling when Canadian Idol returns. And we're back with the feel good thrill ride of the summer. Now Michelle, you've been a fan of Canadian Idol since day one and now <gasps> you're on the show. Yes. What lessons have you learned that you're bringing into the show today? Well, when I'm, as a viewer, I really enjoy watching someone who's comfortable on stage and really shows the audience that they're having a good time because it's a blessing to be on stage. So I look for that when I watch and I hope that I bring that out as well. Now, Rex, let's talk about the hat. You have a deep connection to this very white hat of yours. Um, Wojt explain. It's white thanks to mom. But... <laughs> I had this hat since I graduated from high school, and uh, just before I left to come up here, we were all sitting around, and everybody took a little note and wrote their names on it and put it on the inside brim of my hat for, for good luck. So hopefully it'll keep me going. I'll give you seven bucks and a picture of me for that hat. <laughs> no? Okay, well, it's time, it's time to rock the mic, Rex. No give it up money. for Rex Gowdy. Hi, I'm Rex Gowdy. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Burlington, Newfoundland. When I got to top 100, and I was thinking that it was just going to be a crazy, crazy week. After you get yourself grounded and realize that you're in Toronto now, you got to step up to your own game and do whatever you can. And guess what got me here? You just stepped it up perfectly. We love you so much. You guys, there's so much soul. You guys were perfect. That's my impression of the judges. I'm here for fun. I'm, I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it. You don't have to be from a big town to succeed. If you put your mind to it, any regular, any regular Joe can do whatever they want to. I would never go back With my back to the wall Just letting myself fall Watching daytimes turn black But now and again I would find That you cross my Well, I'm wasting my 
dreams And each day it seems I'm losing my way back to you ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I'm to blame Feel so ashamed I call out your name After the rain You know, Rex, a, a lot of people watch the show and they say things like, well, they're a good singer and this one's not a great singer. But at the end of the day, you got to be a great performer. And that's exactly what you are. You're a great performer. Thank you very much. I, I got to say, that's, that was definitely the top performance for me in the, top, in the uh, top 32 so far. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm a big fan of where you're from and who you are and the natural presence you bring to this. Really. It's rock and roll Rexy, sexy Rexy. I bet you're gonna hear a lot of that, right? I know. Yeah, I, you know, that was amazing. It was amazing because you were like so relaxed and you, you sang great. I mean, so who, I don't care if you're a great singer or not. <laughs> I think you're fabulous. Really you are a great singer. Well, it also doesn't take a great singer to be a, a rock star and you know, Hat Boy here has got a lot going on and, and um, you know, I think some people are gonna have to go through the wild card show to get in, cause this guy's gonna be here right till the very end of this competition. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wow. I'm telling you. You know what, it's a really great sign on this show that, that everyone on the couch would help you out with your performance. Thanks guys. And no, that really Thanks, says Brian. a lot about this group. So congratulations to everyone, congratulations to you. That was great. If you haven't seen enough of Rex, you gotta show him your appreciation by voting. Just call 1-866-9-IDLE-05. That's 1-866-943-6505 at the end of the show. It's time for our next performer, so please put your hands together for Michelle Madeira. I'm Michelle Madeira, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Mississauga, Ontario. When my friends and family saw me on TV, I had about 50 phone calls. I wish I had another light to get them all because it was one after another. Everyone was like, we see you, we see you. The song I'm going to be doing for my performance is One Moment in Time by Whitney Houston. It's a personal song that I think I could really deliver because I, I really feel it. There's nothing more that I enjoy doing than singing and performing for people. This is the destiny that I would love for my future and I just think that the song, the lyrics really speak for themselves. You did a good job there, actually. I mean, this seems like a battle of the composed. Those who can keep it together and hold it together are doing well tonight, so good on you. Thank you very much, Ryan. See, I think that's exactly what I didn't like about it. It was, it was too reserved. I would, you know, that song's kind of like dramatic and there wasn't enough of that going on from you. You sang okay, though. Thank you. Yeah. 
Well, I think if you'd have sung last week, you know, you'd have walked, potentially gone through in a cakewalk. But the big issue even there is like, you're really a solid, strong singer. That's why you are here. There's a spark of originality and personal genius about you that is slightly missing. Uh, and, and I think that's going to make it tough for you. But you certainly did what you came here to do. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, I think you sang really well. Technically, maybe the best performance tonight so far. But I can't disagree with the other judges to the extent that I didn't really feel you. So for me, I'd take the feeling over the technical side any time. But you well, sang well. Canada will give me a chance to show that in the top ten then. Good answer. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's it, you know, you, you, you sang to that camera and you sang to Canada and now it's up to them. Yes, it and is. if you want to keep Michelle around, the phone lines will be open as soon as the show ends. And here's the number to call, 1-866-9-IDLE-06. That's 1-866-943-6506. Well, stay with us, Canada. We've got another two performances when Canadian Idol returns. <laughs> Welcome back to Canadian Idol. The phone lines still aren't open, but they will be very soon, so get ready. After the show, you'll have two full hours to show your support. Now, Barrett, who are the influences that have made you the singer you are today? Well, growing up today, or growing up, I uh, sang a ton with my two sisters and my brother. But we usually sang in the van on family trips to little Kenny Rogers, got some ABBA in there. Definitely some Dolly Parton, too. Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, and ABBA. I think I speak for everyone here when I say, what? Yeah, it was painful. Barrett, you ready to sing? I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Barrett Peitch. Hey, Canada. My name is Barrett Peitch. I'm 23 and from Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is my mark. My family's hardcore about this show. They love it. They saw me get shut down last year, so it's exciting for them to see me be further than I was. I wanted to sing something that I could be passionate about and really enjoy singing. It's not too fast, so you look like... It's cool and it's not super slow and ballady, so I'm not gonna put anybody to sleep. Hopefully, you know, people pick up that I'm here just because I love to sing. I think that I would make the show fun and hopefully they'll see that and want to see more of it and pick up the phone and hit my number. I knew you play his piano every Friday at the Hollywood. And they took me down to see her and they asked me if I would I'm walking in Memphis But do I really feel the way I feel? They've got catfish on the table And they've got gospel in the air And Reverend Green be glad to see you When you haven't got a parade You got, a, you got a real specific tone when you sing, and, I, and what I really like about it is that you know what to do with it. You know what I mean? It was, that was not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it wasn't the worst either. So, good job. Thank you. Uh, you and I have such lovely history, don't we? Um, you know, uh, there was some fear, I guess, on our part at one point of even putting you through to this round because you're just so good looking and have so much charisma and natural vibe and tone that you were going to make the top 10 no matter what happened, no matter what you did. The fact is you did something really good. It was a li little rhythmically challenged, but it was really good and you probably now deserve to be in the top 10. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> of 
Wow. Oh, man. Um, my favorite part of that song was right after that part where you stopped and it was really silent. Oh, he's brutal. That hurts. You're going to see, you, dude, Canada's going to think you're a star and that's all there is to you, it. You know what? Oh, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. He was thinking of something mean to say before you even started singing. I know that because I sit right here. <laughs> That's so but, not true. But, I've just never been a fan, and you still didn't convince me. What can I say? But here's the real deal. No, that you did a real good job there compared to what I've seen you do personally, and those are top ten dimples anyway, so you're in there, baby. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is what Seacrest must feel like. That was great. If Barrett is your man, let him know by voting for him after the show. Just call 1 9 idle 07. That's we're so tall. It's 1 943 6507. Calls are toll free from landlines, and voting will not open until the very end of the show. That was very, very well done. And when it got silent, that was a good thing. People Thank were you. listening. <laughs> when we come back, there's a chance of a flurry in the forecast. Amber flurry, that is. <laughs> Canadian Idol will be right back. Welcome back. We've got one last performance before you vote like you've never voted before. Now, Amber, singing has always been your passion, but tell me why you went back to school and got a degree as a paralegal. Well, I just think that having a backup plan is, uh, it makes you a more well-grounded person, but obviously singing is my life. It's what I love to do, so. Well, hopefully you'll never have to use that degree after tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Amber Fleury. Hi, I'm Amber Fleury. I'm 26 years old and from Calgary, Alberta. There's a bad moon on the rise. During that initial audition, I was really, really nervous. I had a lack of confidence back then. How it sits. Bird, she's just amazing. She just seems like she's a woman with a lot of soul and a lot of talent and a lot to offer. Did you hear it? You had to raise it up. This is something I've wanted since I was five years old. It's my passion. It's what I've always wanted to do. And no matter what, I'm always going to try to make it because if you have a dream, don't ever give up on it. I'll close my eyes Then I won't see The love you don't feel of the jean jackets. Um, you know, uh, it's gonna be really tough to beat cute boys. That's the nature of this show. Um, the fact is, we could do this show for another 100 years. You sing better than anybody who's ever come anywhere near this show by any stretch of my mind. No doubt. 
in, in the in the first season, people used to joke because my thing was that if I started feeling you and I started feeling my arms, well, my whole body was vibrating during that whole performance. Amber, we've been saying it all along. You are the best singer in this competition. You're maybe, without a doubt, what Zach says, the best singer we've ever had on this show. It's total heartbreak listening yeah. to you sing. I mean, it's yeah. unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. The words or the title of that song, at least, is so inappropriate for who you are and what you are. You will make everybody love you, whether they think they do, don't, might, whatever. You are awesome, sweetheart. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Amber, and, and I'm just going to... The reason why is there is this stunning, haunting quality of emotion that comes from you that that's like it's, it uh, was practically in tears absolutely okay, it was absolutely. stunning thank you so much God bless you. never go back to work as a paralegal <laughs> If you want Amber in your top 10, you've got to vote. Just call 1-866-9-IDLE-08. That's 1-866-943-6508. That was a great job. Amber, fantastic. Great job, group three. It was amazing. Now, before the voting begins, let's take a quick look back at all of tonight's performances. Keep your favorites fresh in your mind with the Subway Recap. So that lucky day, you know darn well, my baby. But if you don't, just let me go. Look inside you and be strong, and you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. I know I'm to blame, feel so ashamed. I call out your Canada and they need every vote you can spare to survive. The phone lines are wide open and you have two full hours to get behind your favorite performance of the evening. If you can't get through right away, wait a few minutes and try again. And if you still can't connect, try calling from a cell phone. We'll see you back here tomorrow night live at 8 p.m. in most time zones with all the results as two more singers round out the top 10. Thank you judges, thank you group three, thank you audience and Bunnery Canada.